Mastering the Art of Conversation Understanding Drown Out Hello, and welcome to our English language learning journey. Today, we're diving into a commonly used expression in the English language, drown out something. Understanding this phrase will not only enhance your vocabulary but also improve your comprehension of nuanced conversations. Let's unravel the layers of this expression together. Drown out is a phrasal verb that paints a vivid picture. To drown out something means to make a sound so loud that another sound cannot be heard. It's like when the sound of the rain drowns out the music playing in your room. The rain's noise is so overpowering that you can't hear the music anymore. Understanding through examples can make the concept clearer. Let's explore how drown out is used in sentences. 1. The cheers from the crowd drowned out the referee's whistle. Here, the crowd's cheering is so loud that the sound of the whistle is not audible. 2. I play music to drown out the noise of the traffic outside. This means playing music loud enough so that the traffic noise is no longer heard. 3. Her thoughts were drowned out by the sudden ringing of her phone. In this context, it's her focus or mental noise that's being overshadowed by the ringing phone. The phrase can also be used metaphorically to describe situations where one thing overwhelms or overshadows another. For example, his confidence drowned out his insecurities, making him an excellent public speaker. In this case, his confidence is so strong that it makes his insecurities unnoticeable or relevant. Drown out is often used in scenarios involving sound, but don't forget its metaphorical uses. It's a versatile expression useful in both formal and informal contexts. Practice using drown out in different sentences to get comfortable with its application. Understanding phrases like drown out something can significantly enrich your conversational skills and make you a more effective communicator in English. We hope this video has illuminated the meaning and use of this phrase for you. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll find your confidence in English language conversation drowning out any doubts. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.